Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Rwana. Today is the 19th of June, 2020. Please open your Bibles to the Gospel of Matthew. We're going to reflect on Matthew 11, 25 to 30. Listen. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. I'm always amused by this prayer of thanksgiving by Jesus where he says, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. From other statements that our Lord has made elsewhere, we know that the things he's talking about are the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. This does not disqualify the wise and the intelligent from discovering kingdom secrets. However, they will do so only if they become like little children. But what quality of the child do they need to adopt? Innocence? Helplessness? Ignorance? Well, perhaps to a certain extent, but I believe the main mark of a child that Jesus is looking for is trust. Unless this trust is violated, a child will believe whatever you tell them is the gospel truth. Of course, they will have a hundred questions. I have rarely met a child who didn't ask questions, but the questions are asked out of a desire for knowledge and information, not a desire to challenge or confront you. And when we approach Jesus like this, trusting that he's speaking the truth, but wanting deeper clarity about something, he will give it to us. Let me explain how this works so you can try it out. After this prayer that the Lord makes to his Father, he invites us to come to him. Come to me, he says, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now, if you are a person schooled in scripture, you will apply hermeneutics and exegesis and other such tools in interpreting what he said. That's fine. There is a purpose for that. But for people like us who haven't got a theology degree, the easier method is to simply go to Jesus with the trust of a child and ask him what he means. Now, since Jesus' method has always been to ask questions, he'd probably say, are you tired? You look tired. Why are you so tired? Don't know you answer. Life is tiring, I guess. It's a constant struggle. Everything weighs me down and I feel very alone in it. And Jesus says, that's because you are alone. And then he asks another question. Have you ever seen a cow plowing a field? And pictures you reply. Where you come from, you have never seen a cow, much less a cow plowing a field. It's hard work, Jesus says, plowing a field alone. But get another cow, put a yoke upon both of them, and see how much easier the work becomes. Besides, it becomes fun for the cow too. He looks at you and smiles because he knows you are already beginning to understand because he is giving you the understanding. You don't have to walk alone, you know, he continues. Take my yoke upon you. Not only will your burden become light because I'm a pretty strong dude, but the going will be fun too. Okay, you nod, then ask. But is there more to this? And he says, oh yes, plenty more. Walk with me and I'll tell you. And he puts his arm around your shoulder. That's his yoke and you walk into your future together. Our faith is really simple, you know. Be like a child, and it all becomes easy to understand. Now, in parting, I'd like you to listen to this song. God bless you.
Like a child, be like a child. If you wanna get to heaven, be like a child. Like a child, be like a child. If you wanna know about heaven, be like a child. One day two disciples went to Jesus They wanted to be seated near his throne One to your left, one to your right They told him The prideful arrogance in the tone you don't know what you're asking, he told them That is not up to me to give But if you don't change and become like children Heaven isn't where you're gonna live Like a child be like a child If you wanna get to heaven Be like a child Like a child Be like a child If you wanna get to heaven Be like a child Jesus liked to tell stories to the people but he told them things they couldn't understand When his friends asked him why he did this He said it was just like he had planned I have kept my treasures hidden from the learning I reveal them to those who are like a child I will gladly share the secrets of the kingdom But only to those hearts that are mine Like a child, be like a child if you want to know about heaven, be like a child Like a child, be like a child If you want to know about heaven, be like a child Like a child, be like a child if you wanna get to heaven, be like a child Like a child, be like a child If you wanna know about heaven, be like a child